Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, so today we're gonna go over um, some some gi throws. My boy Jack. Um, we're uh, gonna today we're gonna do uh, tayatosh. A lot of people have different ways of doing tayatosh, but this is the way I like to do it. Okay, so uh, I should stand this way. Okay, so tayatosh is a hand and foot technique. It's not a hip throw at all. Some people think it is. Um, but it's not. You, you, you want to uh, not have your hips in front at all. Okay, if your hips are in front with tie toes, you're kind of blocking your own throw. So it's a very shallow step, uh, similar to uh, Haraigo Shuchimata, but even shallower. So my first step, I'm gonna grab the lapel here, kind of like a little bit above his chest, between his collarbone and his chest. And actually on this grip, on my pulling hand, I'm actually, it's good to grab the sleeve. I like to grab a lot higher with most of the other throws behind the elbow or tricep. But with this throw, I like to grab lower by the sleeve, okay? So it's gonna, the, if I grab lower by the sleeve, I'm gonna have more room to, to, to do my throw. I'll have room to get in. When I'm grabbing up here, with the other throws, you're nice and close. So it's better to grab uh, deeper but with Taitosh, you're kind of far away, so it's better to grab the sleeve. So my grip is here. My steps are gonna be, my first step is here. Second, it, it kind of in between his, his feet. Second step comes around to the side here. Now my hips are gonna be parallel to Jack's, but oh, not in front, right? I'm on the side. Nothing here is blocking Jack uh, to, uh, for me to finish the throw. Once I'm here, I'm gonna slide my right foot under Jack's knee with my toes pointed down with equal weight on both feet. And to finish this row, I'm gonna take my palm, the butt of my hand and push into Jack's jaw while I'm pulling in with my pulling hand this way, like almost like a scissor. So when I do that, all the weight goes on Jack's right leg and I pop him over this way. So a little bit faster speed. this angle here. Okay. So that's the basic uh, gist of Taitosh. So again, gripping here and here, right? I'm gonna, as I'm, as I'm stepping in, I'm still kind of pulling Jack forward a little bit, stepping shallow, hips on the outside parallel, all here, and then make this throw. Now the trick to Taitosh is to keep, is to get all of Jack's weight on his, on, on his right leg. If I'm a righty, I want Jack's weight on his right leg. So there's a few ways to do that. One way I like to do it is, let's see if we're over here, if, if I, any time I step back when, when uh, for Jack's react, if I step back this way, Jack's usually gonna take a step this way. Same here. You know, when, it, when we're moving this way. So what, what I'd like to do, a lot of times if we're grabbing here this way, I'm gonna just keep stepping back with this foot and, and I know Jack's gonna eventually step with this, with this right foot. So I step a little bit here, a little bit here. I can see the timing. So the next time I step back and Jack steps, I'm gonna come down and throw him that way. So again, from here, we're, we're at an angle like this. I'm just gonna kind of walk sideways and throw this way. Another way to do it is do combinations like Ochi or Kosoto will also do that. So if I pick up Jack's leg, He's standing straight, and I, and I do Ochigari, all the weight goes here too, right? If I pick this leg up, he's on this on this thing. So the combination would be, I'm just gonna step in Ochi, once he's there, come down and throw this way. Another one you can do is Kosoro. So Kosoro is the same thing. If I fake here, and, and uh, Jack steps back with his uh, left leg, 
as he's stepping back, all his weight's on his right leg. So, looks kind of like here. Okay, so think with Tai Tosh, hand and foot, no hips. Okay, your hips are outside um, and you want to get all the weight on that right leg. If Jack, to, to vet, like, uh, if, if the weight isn't on that right leg, it's just not going to work. If Jack's doing it to me, if he comes in on me, and if, if my weight is here on my right leg, yeah, I feel, I feel like he's going to be able to throw. But like a defense, if, if I feel Jack starting to do it, and then I kind of move into Jack, where my weight's on my left leg and I'm pushing in, Jack can't com complete the throw. Try to come in a little higher. See, if I just move this way, he's off balance. He can't, he can't finish the throw. So make sure when you do do it, you're trying to get all his weight on the right leg if you're doing it right side. Obviously, left side would be on his left leg. But uh, that's the way I like to do Tai Tosh, making sure a couple key things, making sure when you do it, the weight's on that right foot. Okay, he's over here. Second thing is, which will help that, is pushing, pulling, pushing his jaw this way, pulling here like a scissor, will keep the weight on that right foot. So he's already picked that one leg up. And not putting your hips in front. There's too many times where I see people trying to do Tai Tosh more like this. If you're like this, you're blocking your own throw. There's no good. You don't need your hips. It's, there's no hips involved with Tai Tosh. It's hand and foot. Trip. Okay? So that's the way I like to do Tai Tosh. Hopefully that helps somebody. And uh, remember, subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you.